Hey guys, Dendrith is here. In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about Conquer Talon in Season 11, including runes, builds, and combos. So, I've got a lot to tell you guys about Talon because I've been playing Talon since Season 7, which is like 3 or 4 years ago. So, my mastery points for Talon is 350k mastery points for NA server and 370k mastery points for Korean server. So my tier in Korean server is gold 4 and in NA server it's plat 4. So I've been uh, using Talon uh, to climb up those um, low elos so it will be really helpful to you guys. Before we get started I just wanted to show you guys the recoil motion of Talon. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over runes first. Usually, Talon takes Electrocute for the main rune to damage a lot in a second. However, in this video, I'll be introducing Conquer Talon with Season 11 items. So why take Conquer over Electrocute? Well, Conquer is better because it does more damage in mid late game compared to Electrocute. It also makes Talon less squish, meaning that Talon can be tanky and get healed while damaging taunts over time. So this is the best rune page for Conquer Talon. So for primary, you wanna run Triumph, Tenacity, and Last Stand. For secondary rune, you wanna take Haste of Blood and Revenous, Revenous Hunter. This rune will make you powerful in low health and maintain health while fighting and engaging. Next, we're gonna go over Talon skill combos. The basic combo is WQ Auto. It activates Talon's passive ability, which is really essential in Talon's combo. With ultimate skill, WQ Ult Auto, you can add Gold Rinker passive ability and ignite to deal more damages. Another combo is W Ult Q Auto. Again, you can add Gold Rinker passive ability and ignite to deal more damages. Next combo is E to get over the wall Ult Q Auto W Auto. This combo is good to assassin ADC or low health dealers. Okay, so let's go over items that Conquer Talon uses. You can actually open your store by pressing key. First item that you go with your Conquer Talon is Longsword or Durant Blade. It depends on the enemy that you face in your laning. And then after that, you go for Iron Spike Whip. It gives effects that help you to clear your lane faster by giving effects like this. It deals champions or minions that are around you. And then after that, you gotta buy your boots. It actually makes you faster by giving effects of mobility. And then the upgraded item of Iron Spike Whip is called Warbrinker. This is a mythic item that makes you stronger. And then there are three options that you can go for boots. This is good against 80 champions, this is good against AP champions, and this cools down time of skills. And then after that, you can buy Tiamat. It also makes your champion go faster with your lane clearing. And then the upgraded item of Tiamat is called Revenous Hydra. And in mid, mid late game, you can go for Zerilda. It actually slows down the enemy that you hit with your skills or with AA. And the next item is Blood Cleaver. It cools down the skills and also it is really good against tanks. The last item that you can go for is Sharak or that dance. Um, this is good against AP and AD champions and this is good for AD champions. And then the potion you go at last and it makes you stronger. So that's it. Nah, just kidding. So for next 5 minutes or so, I'm just gonna give you guys some situations where Talon can use his abilities and with skill combos that, that I have introduced you guys with item um, usage. So in this situation, Talon is getting over the wall and escaping from enemy using E skill which is also called as Far True. So it is really um, useful in many kind of situations where you're attacking or just running away. Here we have Talon solo killing Dalio in level 2. As you can see Talon is stacking up Conquer stacks by using auto attacks. And when he hit level 2, he is using W, Q, A, A and Ignite to solo kill him. In this situation, Talon is tracking down Galio with E skills, and then he is actually 2v1ing, 
and then he's using W and then Q ult and then ignite to kill him and then getting back again with E skills and then when Alistar is using ignite to kill him he's actually using flash and E to survive in this engagement Talon is actually doing 3 vs 4 and as you can see Talon is using um, skills and auto attacking to stack up um, conquer stacks and then he's actually um, using Q and ult skill and then getting over the wall with E skill and then managing to get passive ability activated and then getting back to fighting with Q skill and then getting over the wall with E skill and as you can see Talon is having um, low health but he is managing to survive with conquer stacks see he's like zomb just like zombie in this situation blue team is actually having 2 vs 3 fight which is not um, good for them because it's there are high chances of them to die so Echo is actually using ultimate skill to survive but um, at last he actually dies because there are too many numbers but Talon is coming with Q skills using W skills and then getting passive ability done ult, Q, AA, W and ignite to kill Nunu too so our team was trying to get Baron but Malphite was trying to steal it so I tried to kill him so I used 4 drinker skill, W, Q, auto attacks to stack up conquer stacks and track down Malphite using E skills but there were 3 people so I was, I, I was like W, ult and then Q skill and then using AA and ignite to kill, triple kill. So this shows that conquer talent is good for tanks and also multiple fights. So this is the last team fight of the game and also my video. So thank you for watching, make sure to stay tuned till the last minute of the video, so hope you enjoyed, see you then.